So as I'm going through these stages, man, I'm starting to find all this information, starting to study these different people and all this stuff. And then it got to my health. And I just started to look for people and I found Dr. Sabi and he was talking about, um, you know what I'm saying, health and the food, the right food that you should put in your body and that he, you know what I'm saying, everything is basically uh, can be cured. So anything under the sun can be cured. So man, I'm looking at this, uh, I'm looking at this individual and then I'm starting to learn more and I'm starting to learn about the pineal gland and how that's affected and how society manipulates us. And by learning this information, man, it started to bring out my creative side, my creative abilities, you know what I'm saying? The things that were in me and I, and I was using them as a child, but I didn't understand them, but they started to really manifest once I started to open up my mind and open up the way that I was supposed to be. I still wasn't eating right. I still was still eating uh, fast food and all this junk and all bunch of crap. You know what I'm saying? But I was, I, my brain, I could start feeling that my brain and my potential was starting to grow. And my whole ability to defeat my depression uh, um, was becoming easier than what it was. And the more I start opening up, the more I started to realize how great we can be. And so that's when I started to do um, stuff like stand-up comedy or write my own poems, write music and, you know what I'm saying, draw and do all the things that I, that I wanted to do, the things that made me happy and things that really suppressed at that time the, 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 the depression feeling that I was having. And man, and as I, I went through time, I started to realize like I had so many more questions to ask. I had so many more questions to ask. And, and, and the more I asked those questions, the more information I started to receive. And I started to use different things to um, keep me on a positive line, keep me on a positive light, you know what I'm saying, suppress uh, my depression um from you know what i'm saying from over from overthrowing me my ability to be happy um and so some of the things that i actually used to uh, um get to the point that i am now to where i can make videos and stuff like this and you know what i'm saying help people people told me these videos actually help them um was you know one of the things that i used man i, I just got this i got one of these chains now this is the backstage. This is this is starting from the end to the front. But this is one of those it's a Yantra chain, man. It helps you to uh, will and attract abundance in your life. Um, it's very peaceful stone. A lot of people like it. Uh, another stone that I had was a was a, a jade turtle that I had in a in a uh, um, tiger eye. Uh, turtle that man it really just brought a lot of positive energy a lot of positive stuff um another thing that i started to do is uh um, i started to get into martial arts you know martial arts helps you uh take out some of that anger and that frustration that you may have and the greatest thing about martial arts is the number one teaching of martial arts is it, to walk away <laughs> And to, for me, that's like that was like crazy because at this point, I'm so angry, frustrated. I'm like, man, let me just fight. But that's the number one teaching is that you can think, you outthink your opponent. You don't have to fight them. Fighting is the last result. It's the last thing. And in the field that I'm in, we always talk about de-escalation first. You know what I'm saying? You have to try to de-escalate the situation be before it gets to a point where you have to use physical force in order to end the situation or diffuse the situation. Um, another thing that, man, was very helpful for me is, um, I, I learned this, is, was yoga. Yoga, man, yoga is, is a freaking amazing thing because what I learned is it unlocked a lot of chemicals in my body and a lot of emotions and a lot of frustrations. And trust me, you think them little moves that they be doing with their leg in the air or twisting back and forth ain't really affecting you, man. You be sweating. <laughs> you be sweating. You only be doing like five, ten minutes of this yoga stuff. Man, so yoga is another thing, man. Meditation, meditation is very good. Um, learn about Om. Learn about the 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 sun's language. Learn about um, the you know what I'm saying. That is a very important thing too. Learn about your breathing. Uh, breathing was another thing that helped me, man. What happens is a lot of people use marijuana, man. Um, I use breathing techniques, man, because if I want that freedom, that you know what I'm saying, that almost that hallucinogenic effect 
um, I will breathe, you know what I'm saying? I'll breathe. So take in that air, take in that life. You know, you have it. That's free. That's a free high. That's a natural high for your ways. So, I mean, try that out, man. Um, what else? You know, there's a, lot, there's, there's a couple other things that helped me. A lot of things that also helped me was um, finding stones. Uh, if you're looking for crystals and, and stuff like that, if you're interested in and things like that, man, um, some good pretty stones is a quartz crystal. You know, your barf stone is always good. Um, one of the big boys that are pretty interesting and I, you know what I'm saying, and uh, be careful when you use it is uh, called Moldavite and Moldavite will have your ass for on the ride of your life. <laughs> um, uh, so, so, you know, I would suggest be very careful, but find different stones, learn and study and research the stones and learn which ones work with you. Um, you'll be able to tell that these stones are working with you by just the energy alone, man. You'll start to feel it. You know what I'm saying? These, they have everything, everything in our life has a form of consciousness. And these stones just as well have a form of their own consciousness. That's why when you can pick up a stone, like I was saying, like a Moldavite, and it'll, man, it'll, it'll radiate in your hand and you'll feel it, man. But I mean, those are some positive things, man. I'm not a real person to be so into taking a lot of uh, medications but i take a i do take a lot of supplements I, I will say that um a lot of the stuff that i take is i take stuff that have to do with um decalcifying your pineal gland uh the alkaline water is very good my diet is not as as perfect you know as 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 it should be but i'm not eating the fast food and all the processed stuff that i used to eat that actually has an effect another thing is you want to learn about the foods that you're eating uh, because the foods that you eat, man, they, they can fuck you up. Um, they really can mess your body up. They really can mess your mind up. And you know what I'm saying? And a lot of my depression came from the excessive eating, too. I didn't understand that. So I looked back and I had to study things that, that I was putting in my body, the food I was eating, because, boy, I sure was a McDonald's lover. You know what I'm saying? I, I get them dollar burgers, man, and I'm, I'm losing my mind. You know what I'm saying? I don't, eat, I don't eat one double cheeseburger. I eat three double cheeseburgers. One time I ate ten double cheeseburgers. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? These things, I'm putting these things in my body, man, and I can't understand why I can't beat this uh, depression uh, because... I didn't, I didn't know that these things had negative effects. You know, my family eats it, they, they, you know what I'm saying, their whole entire life, everybody's eating it. This is something we do. Every, I remember after church, yeah, almost down there, every time we go to Jack in the Box and have us some Jack in the Box food, some of them jumbo jacks. <laughs> so, um, I mean, that's another thing that you should look at. Um, look at what you're putting in your body. Look at your diet. Uh, and also, man, look what you put in watching, what you're watching, what you're entertaining. Um, you know what I'm saying? A lot of the time, man, me doing videography, I have to learn from stuff on TV. Um, so it's beneficial to learn, but the whole entire time, man, I'm like breaking shit up. Like, no, I know what this mess message is. I know what that means. I know what this is. Uh, that's what they're trying to push on us. This, 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 you know, because I've opened up myself to these abilities. And then that's when I found this light where I can make videos helping other individuals, uh, to really look at themselves to really look at uh, what's going on uh, in your life. And I'm taking my story and turning it into stories. You know, um, I also joined in a public speaking class because of, uh, of these negative situations. So don't always necessarily look at life and it's in a negative light it's not always negative man it's not these things help us grow you know what i'm saying we have there's going to be somebody who's younger than you or there's somebody older than you who is going through a situation um that is very similar than yours but you could probably be the stronger person to go through that you know um this particular situation to help other individuals grow uh so you know that's that's those are some of the things a very important thing is also study uh frequencies hertz frequencies that that's very important to study you know what i'm saying the music common music i use it a lot of the time with the people that i work with and it works man sometimes I even knock them out <laughs> you know what i'm saying and uh it, you know what i'm saying but that those calming uh techniques man le learn about those of 432 hertz frequency Learn about that's the planet's frequency. Learn about those different things and put them in your body. Um, uh, you, you know what I'm saying? Binary beats is another good thing that you can use uh, to help you 
uh, helps you in cre your creative process, helps you in your studying process. If you have a lot of problems with focusing like I do, you know what I'm saying? I have a lot of problems with it stays focused because I'm doing so much all the time that when if I need to get something done, I just turn one, turn that on and I mean, I begin to write and you know what I'm saying? I can stay focused. So, I mean, these are a lot of things that you can use if you're going through what I'm going through. If you have any depression or any, any situation that you feel may affect you and, uh, a negative way or a negative light um if you can't understand it man you know what i'm saying comment in the box man tell me what's going on you know i'll be able to help you i can only tell you from what i experienced though but you know what i'm saying a lot of the time i had to realize that i'm strong enough to go through these particular situations and i'm still here and i'm luckily i'm able to tell individuals my story um and you know because there's a lot of individuals who went through the same thing very similar to me and they're not here today we we can't learn from them we can't we can't get in their abilities any of their inventions any of their talents you know what i'm saying we we lost we lose all that so uh, i i thank you guys for listening um look up all the information that i'm telling you man i'll be creating other videos i'm definitely gonna have some special guests on here if you like this information comment share subscribe get it out here because this information not only helps me it helps everybody else and a part of this you know we're all we're a collective consciousness we have a collective consciousness and what i do affects the next individual whether it be past present or in the future so i thank you guys for listening this has been my Unperfect Perfect Chronicles, and you guys have a good one. Peace.